Welcome back to Wheel Power and Wildwood, New Jersey. The cleanup round, our second round on the way. Dennis Anderson gets a break here. He was the quickest time in the first round, so he comes back here in the cleanup round. He'll match up against the surprise of the first round. Well, maybe not a surprise, but Chuck Packin right now in the Excalibur is on a roll. He's done very, very well on this particular track. Dennis Anderson's had problems this week, and they brought a new truck in, so he would able to uh, maybe come up with a better advantage. During the break, came back in, filled those holes up here in the right lane. We'll have to see how long that's going to last. But it's Dennis Anderson in the near lane and the Excalibur over on the far side. Oh, Dennis Anderson way out of shape right there. And the Excalibur continues to do things just by the book. Picture perfect. Check packing going into the next round. Let's take a look at this one again. You see Gravedigger coming off the line, gets bent out of shape right after the first set of cars. That throws him all the way out of kilter right there. He's a good enough driver. But once that it is the Carolina Crusher and Gary Porter, his first trip to the beach, and he thinks he's got it pretty much figured out as far as the chassis setup for this big old Chevrolet. He matches up against a guy who's really looking to turn a season around right here. It is the liquidator, Bob Fisher behind the wheel. Fisher had an impressive first round win as well. Into the second round right here, these guys are looking for that finals. It's going to be really something to say that you won on the beach. Gary Porter laps the stage right now. Porter in the far lane and Fisher in the liquidator in the near lane. the Carolina Crusher hugs the ground all the horsepower right to the beach he'll move on to the next round a big win for Gary Porter in his first trip to Tony Farrell wheeling the bandit out of the garage area up against David Morris the equalizer these two guys have both been to this spot before they played at this particular playground here at Wildwood New Jersey last year and uh, right now, I think that it's going to be the guy who can get the best start off the line. So they're pretty much matched up in horsepower, so it's going to be very key when they start to cut that light. Let's see what happens here. Bandit up against the equalizer. by side battle the bandit had it off the line but david morris picks up the win horsepower down at the top end the reason for victory there morris moves on to the next round next pair features tom meets in the monster patrol a good running chevy up against tim hanekow in the dodge barefoot now, it looks like the track is holding up pretty well right now. We had problems in the first round with those big old tires just clawing and kicking up that sand. But Dodge Barefoot right now into that right lane where that hole may start to develop a little bit. As we started this particular round, they brought in some sand and some more dirt to kind of build it up a little bit. Tom Meets in the Monster Patrol, Tim Hanekow in the Dodge Barefoot. Barefoot problems right off the line. And look at Tom Eats skate to an easy victory here on the second round. Hanukkah having nothing but problems. That in the barefoot dodge. So Tom Eats, the Monster Patrol, will move in now to the quarter final round. A big victory for him. Let's take a look at how they squared up. Excalibur, Carolina Crusher, Equalizer, and the Monster Patrol, they all head into the next round, our quarter final.